What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today it's another edition of Robbie Rambles, so stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today is another edition of Robbie Rambles. It's been a while since I put one of these out, but I figured it was past due, given everything that's gone on, given my absence again. I do apologize. Honestly, it sucks. Uh, if you know, if you watch Project Fog, you probably know what's going on and why I've been away and kind of why I've been down a little bit the last couple weeks. Uh, I'm trying to work my way back up and hopefully this video is a good comeback to it all. Uh, what I want to do for you guys is put out a whole bunch of reviews in the next couple weeks as well as a couple of cool projects I'm working on as well that are side projects. Uh, some of them are vape related, some of them are not, but they're going to be on this channel anyways and I think it's going to be a really cool idea. I love the concept of it. Um, I guess before we get into any of that, let's talk about what I have on the docket, what's coming up for review, just so you guys have something to look forward to and to know what's coming out as well. Uh, first thing I want to say is that this is going to be the first video of two today. So I'm going to release two videos today, the rambles and an actual review, so you guys can pick and choose which one you want to watch. If you want to watch both, if you want to watch one, if you want to watch neither, it's all up to you guys. So thank you all so much for tuning in, and I do appreciate all of you guys for sticking around as far as you have through all the struggles and everything. I really do appreciate it. It's been a bit of a tough time for me, but you guys have stuck with me, and you guys are the best subscribers anyone could ever ask for, so I owe it all to you guys. You guys have kept me up in this time, and uh, with that being said, let's get into what products are coming up for review. So first off, and what's probably going to be coming out today is one of two reviews. These are both going to be filmed tonight. I just don't know which one I'm going to put out right away. I haven't decided, but basically, we have the Smoke TFV8 Cloud Beast sent to me by Gearbest. And also sent to me by Gearbest is the Wismac Rouleau RX two thirds. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it anyways, because that's how I kind of picture it and that's how it reads to me. So that one as well. So one of those two reviews will be coming out today along with this video. Also on the docket, I have a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Anakin just released some really, really cool starter devices that I'm really excited to bring to you guys. They are bringing back, and I love this about Anakin, they are bringing back the iTaste brand. This is the iTaste Easy TC. It's temp control mod only. However, and I, I have to say this because when I read that, I was a little bit worried it was going to be like a nickel or a titanium temp control, and I'm kind of over that, but it's actually a stainless steel temp control only mod, which I love. Anakin's done a great job on this. I'm looking forward to putting the review out on that, and I will have a review out on that in the next week or so. Uh, also from Anakin, we have the Smart Box. Another really simple to use, very easy to understand device and starter kit, I should say. Really cool, works the 1.2 coils or the 0.5 coils. It's really designed to be a mouth to lung type device, and I love it. I love it. Uh, anyways, so that's two things from Anakin. We also have a few other things here. We have, this is a little bit older, but I'm going to put a review out anyways on it. This is the Aromamizer Supreme Light RDTA. Really cool little device. Um, been building on that a little bit too, so it's been uh, it's been a, a different experience to say the least. I like it and I don't like it. There's some pros and cons to that for sure, but I'll put that more in the actual review video. Uh, also something I'm really excited about actually, and this is something that I've been waiting a long time for. Uh, Ogvape finally released another RDA. I love the Druid. I was one of the few people who actually loved the Druid, and they came out with another one. This is the Ogvape Astro RDA. This little thing is really cool. I don't even know if, you know if you can see that in there because it's kind of black. Uh, it's the black RDA is matching with the black velvet in there. Really cool RDA. Uh, staggered posts, which I love, or staggered post holes, I should say, which I love. That's a really cool idea. I'm glad someone finally came up with that. Uh, also, speaking of RDAs, we have OBS's Cheetah RDA. It's a top airflow RDA, a little bit different. It's got four top airflows instead of two like you usually get from something like, uh, um, what was the one that was uh, the original top airflow? I'm trying to remember what it was called. I'm blanking on it. Anyways, if you guys know what I'm talking about, put it down in the link below or put it down in the comments below. Uh, if I remember, I'll put it in the description, but uh, I'm blanking on it right now. It's, I ha it's, it's a while old. I probably did a review on it about a year ago. Uh, let me know if you guys, guys know what I'm talking about. But on OBS's same topic, we also have the OBS engine. This is an RTA, really cool device. Again, have a review on that coming shortly. And lastly, this is a little bit of an older one. I've been wanting to do a review on it for a while and I haven't. It's, I don't know if anyone else has done reviews on it. I assume they have. It's probably three or four months old by now, but I am still putting in a review on it. And it is the LivePort 80 watt kit. This guy right here, I got the red one here, really cool. Really cool colors, actually. I love the color on that. 
And uh, so that will be coming out as well shortly. All right, let's move on to talking about me, what's been going on, why I've been away, and how it all relates to YouTube and things I haven't been doing that I probably should have been doing, and so on and so forth. So, uh, as some of you may have known, a couple weeks ago I actually lost my job, which sucks. It really does. Uh, I was with the company for about seven years and just got laid off. It was pretty unexpected. Things happen, I know, but it's still hard to get over. And it's been a rough couple of weeks for me to say the least. Now with that being said, obviously my grandfather has cancer as well as you guys know. So that's been another thing bothering me a little bit and it's been hard to talk about. But it's he's gone through all the tests, he's gone through some a little bit of uh, uh, a few CAT scans, he's done all that stuff. Um, and he's actually going to get his tonsils removed here in the next couple weeks. Um, they think the cancer originated from the tonsils, they're not sure though. It's it's really this whole weird situation where they just don't know where it's coming from. Um, it's really and what's what makes it really weird is apparently where the tumor is on his neck. Um, it's usually linked to one of four or five places, like the uh, the tonsils are one of them, uh, thyroid glands I think is another one, and a few other places. And they checked all those places and they can't find any cancer anywhere. Uh, removing the tonsils is pretty much just a precautionary thing. They don't know if it's actually linked to it or not. They just, it's been a whole different mess of experiments kind of thing. They just can't find out where it's coming from. Hopefully they caught it early enough, but again, the whole situation's been really weird and it's been a struggle for all of us, obviously. So um, it's, it's kind of affected me as well, uh, unfortunately, but it has. Now going back to the whole job loss thing, there is one more thing I want to talk about and it's not something I wanted to do and it's not something I decided to do spur of the moment. I took a lot of time to think about this and unfortunately I came to this decision. It just, it, it, uh, it sucks. Um, I didn't want it to come to this but unfortunately for the time being, uh, at least for the next couple of weeks, I will not be doing any giveaways at all. Any other giveaways I posted will be on hold for now. I sincerely apologize for that. I just, I, I don't have the money, I don't have the time to, well, I have the time, I just don't have the money, to be honest, um, to keep putting the, these giveaways out. So they will be on break for a little while. Um, I apologize, I really do. If you're here on this channel just for the giveaways, I'm sorry guys, I really am. I hope you stick around, but honestly, at least for the next couple of weeks, there won't be any giveaways going on, there won't be anything like that. Um, I still have all the prizes lined up. I'm gonna hold on to them as long as I can. I won't be selling them unless I absolutely have to. But if things keep going the way they are, I may have to resort to that. So I honestly apologize to, that, to all of you guys who have entered and I hope that you guys aren't offended by me saying this. It was honestly a really tough decision for me to do. Um, it's, it's just one of those things where I had to literally sit down and think about this. And I've thought about it every day for the last two weeks. And I didn't want it to come to this, but it's been it's been a tough time for me. So um, we'll see where things go, and hopefully I can hold on to them long enough until I find another job and I can actually get the money again. Um, and once I have that, I'll resume the giveaways if possible. But I don't want to promise anything because anything could happen in the meantime. And I just I don't want to be lying to you guys about why I'm not doing giveaways, why I haven't announced them. Honestly, it just came down to the fact that I just I might need the money and it's it's tough so i wanted to get that out of the way i really do apologize to you guys for that i i don't even know what to say honestly I'll, all i can do is apologize and it it's it, it sucks it really does suck a lot um i had a whole bunch of things i want to talk about but i'm just distracted right now just thinking about you know you guys out there and you guys deserve so much more than what I can give you and it sucks that I can't even do giveaways anymore because I, I really want to do giveaways um, especially being in Canada I'm exempt from the FDA regulations right now so it I don't have to worry about doing giveaways it should be something I should be able to do but just the timing and everything it, it it hasn't been good so I do apologize to everybody out there um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything more I can say about that. It's just, it's, it's a decision I'd come to and it's not one I like. So hopefully you guys forgive me for that, but um, I guess we'll see. Uh, anyway, so moving on from there, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. I think there's one more thing I wanted to discuss. Uh, oh, right, the projects I'm working on. So 
One of the projects has been in the works for a long time and I owe a sincere apology to Inakin. Uh, we're doing a video on the Inakin T18. Some of you may have heard me talk about this before. It's basically a video where I approach smokers and try and get them to convert to vaping, talk to them about vaping, see what their thoughts are, see what their impressions are of vaping and vapors alike, see if they have any sort of impressions on us and see if we can't shake that stereotype and maybe move past it on to introducing them into the world of vaping so that they can actually um, experience a healthier alternative to cigarettes. Um, well, and I'm not going to try and force it to them. I'm not going to try and, you know, shove it down their throat. I'm just going to be there to really encourage them and ask questions about what their impressions are and how we as vapors can maybe improve our overall impressions on smokers and even the general public for that matter. So that's a cool video I've planned. Um, again, it's been in the works for like a couple of months now, at least, if not more. Um, I, I had some issues with the cameraman. I've been working with a few people. I hope I have it resolved now. So if everything works out, I'm hoping to get it filmed the next week or two, and then probably another week of editing or so uh, in between other reviews and things like that. So I'm hoping it's about two to three weeks out from actual public or from actually from actually being published. But we'll have to wait and see and just kind of go where where it goes with uh, with as far as finding the cameraman and, and getting everything put together the way I want it to be. Uh, the second project I have planned is going to be done in about two weeks, maybe a week, I don't know yet. I'll let you guys know the exact date once it actually comes to fruition. But basically I'm going to be doing, and this is kind of unrelated to vaping, but I'm going to be doing a live session of a tattoo. So I'm going to be getting a tattoo from Sea Witch Emporium over in the Vape Depot store. Uh, they have a little loft up there, really cool little office up there. The artist Chris Don is absolutely amazing. If you guys want to check them out, I'll link down to those guys in the description. I think they have a Facebook page. I don't know if they have a web page um, or a website, but I will put all the links I have in the description here, uh, as well as once I get the actual date, I'll do an announcement on it and you guys can watch live. I'll be trying to answer some questions while I'm getting tattooed, which I think would be kind of cool. Um, I don't know. Let me guys know your thoughts on that. I'm going to do a live tattoo. I will try not to show too much skin on the tattoo, but uh, you know, just kind of the arm area. Actually, it'll be on this arm. but. Um, We'll see what happens, and uh, I'm looking forward to that one a lot, actually. But um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes, and that's pretty much all I have lined up for today. Again, I want to apologize to everybody for being away for so long. I really want to apologize to everyone for the the, the news on the giveaways. Um, like I said, it, it sucks. It hurts. Um, I didn't want it to come to this, but I, I'm getting to the point where I don't know what else to do, and this just seems like the only thing I have left to just, you know, honestly, to, to really just pretty much put food on the table. Um, so it, it's not that bad yet, but if the economy, the way it's going right now, and the way um, my applications have gone so far, uh, the biggest issue I have right now, to be honest with you, is my education. Um, I have a diploma in business marketing, but unfortunately everybody's looking for degrees, and I don't have a degree. I also don't have the money to go back to school, unfortunately. So it's this whole cycle where I'm basically trapped given my limited education, um, which I don't think is too limited. I mean, the, the diploma I have was not cheap. It, it cost me enough money to get that diploma. It's in business, business administration. Um, I, I thought that was a broad enough diploma where it would help me in the workforce, and so far it hasn't, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, I obviously have a background in marketing and sales and all that good stuff, but unfortunately, it's just one of those things where I, I don't know what else to do. Um, I wish I could get more education. I'd love to get into coding or something. That's kind of one of my passions on the side. Uh, I, I've never really gotten into it, but it's something I've always wanted to learn. And unfortunately, there's just no no programs out there to really teach you about uh, coding in a very basic beginner sense that isn't involved in a full-on degree or anything like that. So uh, a lot of stuff's coming out and I'm just trying to do what I can to get whatever I can. Um, a lot of people had, in, in Project Fog, when I talked about this, a lot of people suggested, you know, go work for a vape store or something like that. And the truth is, um, I, I may do that, but the problem with that, and I have to be honest, is that there's just not enough money in it for me to really live off of. And it's a bit of a scary thought cutting my salary by that much. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not willing to make sacrifices, but at the same time, I can't make too big of sacrifices before, you know, worrying about paying my, my rent and paying the, uh, my, my car and, and insurance and things like that. So I don't know. Anyways, I've rambled on enough. 
I guess that's the point of a Robbie Rambles episode. Hopefully this video isn't too long. Maybe I'll make some edits and things like that to speed it up a little bit. But anyway, just want to thank you guys all again for sticking around. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I know I've talked to a few of you guys individually on Facebook through messages. Um, Relic, man, you're, you're awesome. Thank you so much for your support. I have to give a special shout out to you because you've been extremely helpful through this time. And, uh, I really do appreciate your support in particular, as well as everybody out there watching this. I honestly, I can't tell you how much it means to me. And it's just one of those things where it's it's a shitty time for me, but I'm going to try and push through it. And uh, hopefully, in, at least in the meantime, the good news is I have some more time on my hands. So I will be doing some more reviews, which is good. And it just means that I can now, I guess, focus on YouTube for a bit until I wait to hear back from some of the applications. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. And until next time, YouTube, happy vaping.